I'm really thrilled to be here. It's taken three years for us to finally make it to San Jose, and I couldn't be prouder. Um, I'm a native of the peninsula, and so I've been dying to have Genesis Works come farther south um, than San Francisco and Oakland. It's taken a lot of planning, a lot of hard work, and everyone here has actually had a part to play in that success. So I'd like to just thank, uh, take a moment to thank the, our friends in the audience here who are present with us today. First of all, our incredible board members. You're going to hear from a few of them today, um, but also ones who are out there in the audience. Thank you all very much for your ongoing support. I want to thank the City of San Jose, Mayor Sam Licardo, who will be here soon, as well as Assembly Member Nora Campos. Our leaders in education, Eastside Union and San Jose Unified High School Districts. Our leaders in business, Google, PwC, AT&T, JP Morgan Chase, Accenture, DocuSign, Embarcadero Realty Services, who are responsible for our lovely place to be, Cushman and Wakefield, who helped us find this lovely place, um, New York Life, PG&E, the San Jose Silicon Valley Chamber of Commerce, Kirkland and Ellis, and Zoom, Transportation Services, a new partner of ours who um, are responsible for making sure that our students can get from all the way on the east side to all the way to Cupertino. Really, really important. I want to thank our leaders in philanthropy and local nonprofits from the Greenlight Fund, Peary Foundation, Sobrato Foundation, Silicon Valley Leadership Group, NAF, Teen Force, and you Aspire. And of course, the reason why you're all here, we're all here, we all do what we do, and that's our students. A number of our alumni are here today, Catherine, Sandra, Bihung, Michael, thank you all for coming. As you all know very well, the South Bay is an unparalleled center of innovation and of leadership. We lead the world in some of our forward thinking, in our inventions, in our businesses, and yet there's another side to the equation. We also house thousands of underserved students who have a future before them of low wage paying jobs who don't see a way out of this and have a future that's very very uncertain we're here to change that Genesis work started with a vision that every student regardless of their background would see the pursuit of higher education and a professional career as a given at the same time, those very companies that I was mentioning that are on the forefront of, de of development, of education, of innovation, of technology, are hungry for a workforce. They are hungry for young talent. They've been outsourcing it too long. They want to grow with the communities that they, they are in. They want to see that those communities thrive because when a community thrives, the business thrives. So, imagine, if you will, what if we could train our youth in technical skills as well as professional skills? How to react, how to act in a professional environment. How to walk into a high-rise like this and go up to the third and fourth floor where they've never been before and be able to be at a desk and work with other professionals in a job that actually has career implications for it. How could we do that together? And not just for a summer, not just for a limited six weeks, but for a full year. Think about that for a minute, giving them a full year of this kind of experience. That's just Genesis Works. That's what our approach is. Genesis Works is where tomorrow's workforce begins. Right here, right now. Since the launch of our Bay Area office in 2013, we've grown from an initial cohort of 29 students to welcoming over 150 students into our cohort next month. Actually, in two weeks. Over 30 of those students will be from right here in San Jose. And 98% of the Bay Area students so far have gone on to college. As I mentioned, we certainly can't do this alone. It takes a strong collaboration with our schools, businesses, and communities to make this vision a reality. 
Today, you will hear from key players who are challenging the status quo, bringing education into the workplace, and raising the bar on how we prepare students for careers. That's careers, not just jobs, in the 21st century. So to kick it off, I'd like to welcome Chris Funk, Superintendent of Eastside Union High School District, and Jason Willis, Assistant Superintendent of San 